Okay, in this video I'm going to continue on with exercise 4a of the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics. We're on page 98 and the question is 4. It states three players A, B and C are running with velocities V1, V2 and V3 meters per second respectively. Where V1 is and we're given what the three velocities are. Calculate the magnitude and direction of the relative velocities of A with respect to B and of C with respect to B. Alright, so this is pretty straightforward. So the first thing, of course, we're going to do is draw our y-axis, draw our x-axis, and these make our xy, our Cartesian plane. Draw our unit vectors, i-hat and j-hat. Then we're given the vector a, or we'll say v1, is equal to 4i-hat minus 3j-hat. So it's plus in the x and negative in the y. So it's this direction. And the magnitudes are 4 here and 3 here, alright? So that's, we'll say, V1 is equal to 4 I hat minus 3 J hat. Okay? Of course, the, this length here to here, we'll say, when you resolve it, is not minus 3, because that doesn't exist. Its magnitude is 3. The negative just gives your direction. So that's V1. Next, we're going to get V2. V2 is 6 I hat minus J hat. So this guy is also in the uh, in the, the fourth quadrant I'm going to draw him here v2 uh, their vectors excuse me is equal to 6i hat minus j hat so 6i hat minus j hat is 6i hat minus 1 times j hat and finally we get v3 is equal to v3 is equal to 8i hat plus 0 j hat Alright, so this that guy is pretty straightforward. He's just on the x-axis. So this is v3 is equal to 8 i hat, like so. So the next thing we're, do, we're asked to do, excuse me, is to get the velocities of, uh, let me go, let me get here, calculate the magnitude and direction of the relative velocities of a with respect to b. So that's v a b. The velocity of a with respect to b is written like so. Mathematically, it's v a minus VB. That's the easy part. The hard part is actually knowing what this means. It means that we're considering B to be stationary and A to be moving away from it. Alright, so I've talked about this in detail in the first three questions of this uh, of this of this exercise and also in the, the first the introduction or the theory part. So actually look, I'll do it once more again. So we're saying that Einstein said that everybody who is moving can consider themselves to be stationary and the world moving around them or they can consider the world to be uh, stationary and them moving around the world so in this case we're saying that B considers himself to be stationary and he wants to know how fast is A moving away from B alright if B considers himself to be stationary so that's what that means so it's VB or excuse me VA minus VB so let's just work that out, and we're going to get, I would say these are V1, V2, V3, was VA, VB, and VC, we'll say. So we have VAB is equal to, so we have 4 I hat minus 3 J hat. Be careful with your brackets, 6 I hat minus J hat. That's equal to 4 I hat minus 3 J hat minus 6 i hat plus j hat you can add of course anything provided it's in the same direction so you get the following here and you get minus 3 plus 1 here and you're going to get negative 2 i hat negative 2 i hat uh, negative 2 j hat now the question is does that make sense Negative two i hat. I'm mean, I feel I'm feeling I'm after making a mistake. Okay, just one, let me just check this. Four i hat minus three j hat. That's correct. Six i hat minus j hat. So that becomes positive. No negative. Excuse me. That becomes positive. Yeah, that's correct. So negative two i hat, negative two j hat. So that would be in this quadrant here. So if b was stationary, if b was stationary, he would say that that. Uh, the vector, or the we'll say the vector a is moving in that direction relative to him. All right. So the next thing we need to do is work out the, the magnitude of this vector. 
And as I said before, this is just using a bit of Pythagoras, so we get the 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 magnitude of VAB is equal to the square root of negative two to be squared plus negative two to be squared. So that's equal to root eight. All right. So that's the magnitude of it. And finally, I'm going to get the direction. And where will I do that? I will do that here. Okay, so we have the vector, its magnitude, and just to get the, the direction, so I say this is VAB. Of course, you resolve this in regard to the unit vectors. We're going to get like that. This is VAB i hat. This is VAB j hat. The two vectors which when added together will get that vector. They must be in these directions. This was equal to... Now the magnitude of is equal to 2, and so is this here, like that. Alright, so in order to get, we'll say theta here, we need to do inverse tan. Or we'll say tan theta is equal to 2 over 2 is equal to 1. So therefore we inverse tan of 1. Shift tan for inverse tan 1 is equal to 45 degrees. So we know that the direction of VAB is equal to 45 degrees. All right, so if we just go back up here, we know that VAB is like this, 45. This is negative 2, negative 2, and this is VAB, like so. All right, so just let me check that in the back of the book. So we're on 4A, question 4. Square root of 8 is correct and is moving southwest. That's that's southwest as well. And just to point out why it's southwest, if we look at our compass, we have north here, south, east, west. So the negative negative uh, quadrant corresponds with southwest. Okay, so that is correct. And I'll just do the, the, the next vector, but I will do it quicker because we, uh, we've done the theory already. So let's just do that. We get the vector b with, uh, with and c with respect to b so vector c b is equal to vc minus vb vcb is equal to 8 i hat plus 0 j hat minus 6 i hat minus j hat like so so we're going to get negative we're going to get 2 i hat plus j hat, like so, is equal to vcb. Alright, so I'm just getting rid of this, we don't need this anymore. So if we want to get the magnitude of this, we need to use a bit of Pythagoras. So we go magnitude of vcb squared is equal to 2 squared plus 1 squared is equal to uh, 5, so therefore vcb is equal to square root 5. Alright, and the last thing we're going to do is get its direction, and this is something we've done already, so I'll do it in blue. If this is the vector VCB, if you resolve it into its component unit vectors like so, this is VCB i hat, this is VCB j hat, and it's equal to 1, and that's equal to 2, and if we call this theta this time, that's it. it's supposed to be a theta. Then we're going to get inverse tan of half to get theta. So we say shift tan for inverse tan, 1 divided by 2, giving us 26.56 degrees. So theta, 26.56 degrees, like so. So let's just check that in the back of the book. Yeah, is root 5 is correct. Yeah, that vector is correct. So thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to my channel.